What's going on, YouTube? This is Walking by Faith, coming at you again with another message. The message is, the message is entitled, God's Free Gift of Salvation. So I am going to be reading a couple of passages of Scripture, and then I'm going to give you the breakdown. So here we go. And you have be, <clears throat> and you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein times past ye walked according to the to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversations in times past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in our sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages of the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards through or toward us through Jesus Christ. For ye are for by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of your selves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Jesus Christ unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. That was Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. Again, that was Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Hmm. So, basically what those passages of scripture are saying is this. Father God loved us even while we were walking in the ways of the world and even while we were dead in our sins, okay? Father God gave us a free gift of salvation through grace and mercy, okay? So, once you receive that free gift of salvation, you can't, it can't be taken away. No man on this earth or anybody can take that free gift of salvation away from you. When you became a born again Christian and you became a new creature and you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior and you believed that he was crucified on the cross for the remission of all of our sins. You got that free gift of salvation. And you were covered and anointed. In the blood of Christ. Okay. So. So. Once you receive that free gift. Once you receive that free gift of salvation, you, you basically, how can I put it? When you receive that free gift of salvation, you are saved automatically by grace and mercy. Not by your works, not by what you do for Father God, because His grace and mercy is sufficient. Okay, so 
when, like I said, when you decided to give your life over to God, you were anointed in his blood and you did not. And it's not because of your works. It's because of your faith. It's because you believed. OK. So with that being said, I hope you like the message. God loves you. I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Christ. God keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.